Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this 30 day weight loss thing that I was talking about in my last video, I've decided I'm going to do the video earlier than when I finished doing it because I've had quite a few people message me, including boys actually, message me about what I'm doing and how have I lost so much weight and like stuff like that because I think I've started to see a difference in myself now. Like before I couldn't really see it, like people still saying it like after two days, I was like, yeah, but you're just being nice, how can you actually see a difference? And now when I look back on them, I can see that I actually did lose quite a lot of weight in just the first two days of it. Like, yes, you'll put like a pound or something back on or two pounds, but then it's so easy to lose it again. And last night, I was watching a YouTuber on how to like make my diet healthier and stuff and I got some few tips out of that video I'll just say them to you so I've wrote them down yes I'm not strange like I watch YouTube videos and write things down what people are saying leave it <laughs> but obviously the most obvious one of how to make your yeah, diet healthier is to drink only water because obviously you need a lot of water in your body anyway or you will dehydrate and probably get very poorly as well if you don't have a certain amount of water in your system which i think i actually did get poorly once from like not drinking enough water because i just couldn't drink it it was more like i'd more like go towards the coke and the vimto kind of way but I've noticed that drinking water does actually help quite a lot. I don't know why I keep moving my hair, just it's kind of really annoying me today. I just don't even know what to do with it, so it's just staying like that. But then, obviously, the second most obvious one is to have no sugary drinks and no sugary foods. So, no chocolate, no sweets, no cans of Coke. You can't even, like, you can't drink diet cans of Coke or diet Tango or, like, diet vimto or whatever because they also have sugar in i know you're probably thinking but why is it here diet on the front then they actually tend some of them not all of them some diet drinks actually tend to have more sugar in than the normal ones and honestly i find that absolutely mind-blowing because i was like i was thinking the same as you guys probably are now i was like but why call it a diet drink if it's got more sugar in than the normal one like, I might as well just drink the normal one. But what I've also found out that I can't drink any fizzy drinks. So I can't drink Coke. I can't drink Vimto, lemonade. And I love my fizzy drinks. Like, obviously, I'm not drinking them now anyway because I'm on this strict diet plan. You're not allowed to drink them. But I couldn't drink them because I was getting really, really bad heartburn when I was drinking them. So that's also what helped me to be put off like Coke and Vimto and everything. Like you guys will probably be like, oh God, no, I can't do that. I drink like five cans of Coke a day. Like I would not be able to get rid of my Coke. Like no, like, but honestly it helps so much. And just from stopping drinking fizzy drinks, I can already see a change in my body. I know I can't really say much now because I'm only on day 11 of my weight loss thing, but it's like I wanted to come on to tell you because I've already noticed a difference in myself so as of people which is why they've been asking me what I've been doing so I thought it'd be easy to just make a video on it so then you can just watch the video instead of me texting everyone like oh yeah I'm doing this I'm doing this I'm doing this like pretty much instead of repeating myself I've just put it into a video for you right and the next thing on my diet plan list is meal prepping meal prepping honestly it helps you so much you can meal prep for the next week obviously i wouldn't recommend that because the food might like go funky by the week but i think that it's easier to meal prep because i've been watching um this amazing youtuber's video if i can if i can find her um if i can find the youtube channel i'll put it in the description i cannot remember her name for the life of me but I'm sure I'll be able to find it if I go onto YouTube and look at my like most recent videos that I've watched. But yeah, meal prepping. 
you do the same for every day so it could be like rice and chicken with broccoli or like i don't even know what's healthy <laughs> rice chicken and broccoli or you could have like oh i don't know you could have fish and rice or something i know that's like because it's kind of like sushi and you might as well just eat sushi but sushi is actually quite healthy because obviously it's just fish and rice and it doesn't have loads of calories and you can have one treat a day so like my treat a day would be like if i really wanted a treat and i was like oh i fancy something sugary like if i wanted a treat i'd get like two jaffa cakes or two digestives or something like that or if you have like a bag of chocolate buttons get like six seven chocolate buttons out but do not and i repeat do not take the packet or the tub of chocolate or cookies or whatever you have do not take it out of the cupboard and go sit down a bit because even though you're thinking in your head oh yeah i'll only have two cookies today because that's all i need to eat is just two because i don't want to put loads of weight on you'll end up going through the entire box of cookies like i've done it i'm guilty of that i will hold my hands up i'm a hundred percent guilty for saying i'm gonna have two cookies then sit down and eat the entire box like it's just something you do but make sure you like portion out what you can eat as your sugary treat like it doesn't even have to be sugary it can just be a packet of crisps or something but you can only have one treat a day because you'll regret it if you have more try to have the same meals every day so like for my breakfast today i've just had cheese on toast with tomatoes i didn't put no butter on the toast because i was like i was a bit queasy of it because obviously butter's dairy like i know cheese is dairy but then i was like why do i want butter and cheese if i'm gonna have cheese on it but trust me you're probably thinking why would you not have butter on your toast like uh, who does that but you couldn't even tell that i didn't have butter on because obviously because the cheese melts into it so nicely it's like you do have butter on it but you just don't know like that's my way of saying it and then for my dinner i'm probably gonna try eat like rice and oh i don't know what should i have for my dinner because it's only like oh i don't even know what time it is alexa what time is it it's 12 16 pm it's quarter past 12 so for my dinner i don't normally have dinner till like a one half one ish anyway but for my dinner i'll probably have like rice with something probably not chicken so i don't think we have any chicken but if we do then I can have it with chicken and obviously a little bit of salad or like broccoli or peas or whatever like vegetables anything then I don't know what I'm gonna have for my tea I feel like when it comes to tea time it's gonna be more like a little snack I have for my tea not like an actual meal because for breakfast I only had one slice of toast anyway and normally I'd go through like three four slices of toast for breakfast I don't know that sounds absolutely horrendous and you probably are thinking well no wonder you wanted to lose weight than if you're eating like four slices of toast but it's like because it was so easy but yet it wasn't that filling i was just like eating and eating and eating but now i've realized that you don't need to eat that much because you can just like your belly will shrink to the amount you're eating anyway so if you eat like breakfast and dinner and you didn't eat loads it's like a really small portion then your tummy's going to be like right she's not putting no more food in so we're going to have to shrink a little bit and it's just going to keep shrinking to the size of where it's going to be like right yeah i can't shrink anymore <laughs> but it's not it's not something to be scared of it's more or less that you know that way that if your tummy does shrink then at least you're not getting bigger track your calories right this is something that i've always struggled with ages ago i was saying i could only eat a thousand calories a day and i can't go over that but obviously i can go under it so i could have like 987 calories in a day but i was not allowed to go over that 1000 calorie mark like that was my all day that was snacks drinks dinner breakfast tea everything all of that was in that 1000 calorie zone so obviously i went for the more slimming products so like i think once i had 
a sausage and pasta cheese bake thing and it was only like 280 calories I think so I was like right yeah I can have that for my dinner it's not loads of calories it won't take up my cal my calorie intake through the day so I had that and then obviously I'd look for other things like like just pasta salads and stuff like I've started eating pasta salads a lot Aldi do these lovely pasta salads and I had a tuna one and a cheese one obviously they were separate they were tuna and cheese but they were like you'd be thinking like uh, do I really have to eat this but honestly because it gets to the time where you're so hungry like you just want to eat what's in front of you so when I got that salad out I was like yes salads and everyone was looking at me like why are you eating salads like uh and they're all eating sandwiches and chocolate bars and crisps and I was just like sorry but I don't want to be in that zone so I've tried to also cut down on obviously sandwiches and crisps and stuff and then if you go on to google and you type in calorie counter it'll come up with this thing where it counts how many calories you should eat in a day and stuff like that and all you have to do is obviously put your height in your weight your age if you're a female or a male and it will say like just from them few things you've put in i think there's a question at the end as well like um how much exercise you do do you do like certain types of exercise it's exercise oh my god what did i just say exercise a day or do you do no exercise because you're busy you might have a baby or something like the question it'll say no workout or like really little workout and obviously i go for the um well i haven't really when i started at first i put no workout because i wasn't doing no workout but now because i'm doing workout it's like right okay but whatever it comes up with your calorie intake always always try to eat less than it says or if you're the other way around and you want to put weight on then obviously eat more than it says but the video i watched said um to lose the weight you have to do 200 calories less than what it says so it could be like 15 thousand calories or something no not 15,000 1,500 calories or something then obviously you need to take 200 off so it'll be 1,300 for that day obviously you eat the same amount of calories each day but if you feel like you're putting weight on too fast I mean losing weight too fast then obviously add them 200 back on and eat at what it says for you to eat the calories at so that'd be 1,500 but then if you feel like you're losing weight too slow and you want you feel like you should be losing it a bit faster because you want to be losing weight at a normal pace so you're not going like that and you're not going like that you're just literally going like slowly down so to do that obviously if you feel like you're losing weight too slow then take another 200 off so then you'd be at 1100 calories but that's all i have to really say about that because that's all i wrote down was them few little few points I did say something else in the video but I can't remember what I said but yeah this workout that I'm doing is I think it's called 30 day weight loss challenge and it's an app you can get on your phone I don't know if you can get it on iPhone or whatever you've got because personally myself I've got a Samsung and I found out about this by it actually coming up as an advert and I was like, oh my god, that looks so good. And like, you don't have to pay for it. It doesn't cost you any money at all. You don't have to like, if you want to like go to pro version, then you can pay money. I don't know how much that is because like myself, I haven't gone to pro version because I feel like just being at the, like the version that I'm at now is okay. Like it still make it still makes your calves burn, your abs burn, everything like everything burns. And if you're not burning, you're not doing it right. I'm sorry, but you're just not so the app that i use is 30 day weight loss challenge and i've been doing it today is my 11th day i actually haven't done um, my workout today 
I normally do it in the morning to give myself motivation for the day, but I've just had so much to do this morning that I haven't had time, so I'll probably end up doing that sometime this afternoon. But it's really easy. Like, I literally do my workout in my bedroom. Like, my bedroom's not that big. It's not that hard to do the workout. Like, it's just, like, squats and lunges, and then there's, like, fire hydrant kicks and donkey kicks and, like... um. Oh, I forgot what it's called, but it's when you bring your legs up. <laughs> when you bring your legs up to your face and you clap under it. I can't remember what it's called. But, yeah, that's one of them as well. And then at the end, like, the first day, I think it was, you had to do plank for 20 seconds. And I literally couldn't even do that. And now I'm on day 11. Well, yesterday it was day 10, obviously. And I had to do plank for 46 seconds. And I did it for the whole 46 seconds. And normally I'd be like, oh my god, are you being serious? I've got to do a plank. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still like that now if it, because I know that plank comes up at the end. So when I'm on like my second to last workout, because it tells you as you go along, it's like workout five out of seven or four out of seven or something. So if I know that I'm on my second to last one, I'll be like, oh, plank's next. Oh my god, no. But then because you're doing it pretty much every day, you get used to being in the plank and you're like well i've done it every other day so i can do it today like you get strong like your body muscles build up as well as you also burning the calories your body muscles build up when you go to do the plank my pandora bracelet's really annoying you know I mean so is that bubble i was caught off the circulation to my entire wrist wow but yeah um what else did i need to say oh yeah with the 30 day workout challenge you actually get some rest days and um i think it's my rest day tomorrow i believe i think day 12 is a rest day i don't know it's like um every three to four days obviously you'll have your workout to do every day it's not even that it's not a long workout at all like it takes like 10 15 minutes like it's quite easy but every couple of days you get a rest day and obviously you don't have to do no workouts then i do not recommend that you eat loads of rubbish throughout the day and drink loads of sugary drinks because that is not going to help you because if you do that then obviously the next day when you go to do your workout you're just going to be laid there and you're going to be like oh i can't do it i've eaten too much i don't feel like i can't move like and every day like in sections like the first day i did it i think i had five workouts to do um and day two and three were the same i think and then i think i had day four off and then after that it went up to six workouts then seven workouts i'm now i think i'm doing seven now or maybe that's eight no i think i'm doing seven now and then obviously i'll have my rest day then the day after tomorrow i'll be moving on to eight workouts a day but it just goes up from five, it's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to twelve workouts. And that's like it changes every day. So it might go up to eight workouts, then the day after it might go back down to five workouts. Like it can change how many workouts you do. Obviously it says like because it says day one, it'll say underneath six exercises. And then obviously next to it it'll say start. So you know how many exercises you're doing? And all I recommend that do not try to push yourself really hard because you never get a good result from forcing yourself to do stuff. Like you need to make sure that your body is with you on this and you want your body to be like, yeah, we can both do this. We're both going to do it. I'm going to help you get through it. Like it's kind of like you want your friend, you want your friend, you want your body to be your little friend. That's like, yeah, you can do it. Go on, Bobby. You, you can work out. Go on, Emma. You can work out. Yes, Jake. You can work out. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you want your body to know that you want it to be with you and you want it to help you through this workout and whatever you're doing. And I find that if your body knows, like, I've tried to do mine every morning. Obviously, to say I haven't because I've way too much to do. But if you try to do it a set time every day, your body will get ready for that time. So, like, if you wake up, your body will automatically be like, right, work out, go work out. You need to work out. Like, your body will pretty much kick you out of your bed to go work out. Like, which is what man has started doing. It's pretty much like, yeah, you're awake, go work out. Because that's what I've been doing pretty much every day. Like, I wouldn't 
really go on my phone and if I do go on my phone it's literally to check a message that I've got off someone that's like really important that I need to get back to um I'll get out of bed do my workout straight away obviously drink loads of water as well so you don't get dehydrated but yeah try to do it a set time every day for your workout because your body will thank you later when your body knows like because obviously your body and your mind are like connected together so your mind's like right yeah it's four o'clock do your workout so then your body will be like yep come on four o'clock get off your bum get off your phone stop watching tv go work out like your body will literally throw you to go work out well not throw you but you know what i mean like it'll kind of like give you a little hint like you need to stop being lazy pretty much but I know this video has been a very chatty video but just with so many people asking me like obviously what I've been doing I thought it'd be best to come on here and tell you all what I've been doing and I really do recommend going onto Google and doing the calorie calculator because it will help you so so much like I don't even know how much my cheese and tomatoes on toast was this morning I don't even want to know <laughs> but yeah I hope you all do really well if you want to try this I hope you all do really well and get to where you want to be and lose that extra bit of fat or put that extra bit of weight on if you feel like you're too skinny and you need to put weight on like please 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 try this if you feel like right yeah I don't want to work out trust me I hate working out but the fact that I know that it's only simple workouts like lunges squats like literally I think one of them is claps overhead so you have your arms like this and you go and you have to do like 20 of them like that is not going to injure you at all obviously if you've got an injury like I have a knee injury because like over a year ago I got fluid on my knee and I chipped my cartilage I try to go easy on the leg one so if it's like plank or something I'll tend to bend my knee what I have injured and obviously keep my other leg straight like obviously I'll have my feet on the floor still but I tend to bend my knee that I injured just so it's not putting loads of pressure on it to keep it straight because how I actually injured my knee was my leg was too straight and I got it locked in place so I couldn't bend my leg which is why I bend my leg when I do them things now so like if I have any leg workouts like lunges or squats or anything I'll tend to like try not to do as much on my leg that I've injured obviously if you're the same and you've got an ankle injury or a leg injury please 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 for the love of god go careful on yourself because i don't want you to be commenting on this video saying i've injured myself because you said i had to push myself rah, rah, rah. like no i never said you had to push yourself at all so this is why i'm saying it now at the end of the video so you know but please be very careful if you do have an injury because you will feel it the next day like the first day I did it I forgot about my injury and I know that sounds stupid because it's like how can you forget about an injury that's like breaking a bone and forgetting about it but I literally forgot about it and I went so hard on the first day I was like yeah I'm gonna get this done then the day after I was like I literally can't move I can't get up my leg was in so much pain I was limping everywhere I was like yep yeah, we're not gonna do a workout today so the second day I left my leg to heal and then the third day when my leg felt load better and I was like yeah I can do my workout again I was just thinking in my head don't go too hard on yourself because when you did that you messed up your leg like so please if you have any injuries on your legs or even on your back or your neck or anything please go really really careful because I don't want you guys to hurt yourself but yeah I think that's all I've got to say for this video because I've been blabbering on for a really long time but thank you guys for watching good luck to you all who are going to try it i will leave um well i won't leave but i'll put screenshots on obviously where i've been talking about the things like the app and the calorie counter i'll put screenshots next to me on this side or this side of what they look like so you know what you're looking for when you do it but yeah good luck to everyone and I will also leave my results from these past 10 days I've done because I haven't even started day 11 yet. I will leave my before, well not before, but my results here so you can see. I'm going to be quiet for a real long time just so you can like, yeah.
think that should be enough time for all of them because I don't think I took a photo every day to be fair because obviously on rest days you don't want to take a photo of yourself because you haven't even done anything so what's the point but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope this was helpful like and I hope you do really well obviously don't forget the points that I said drink plenty of water no sugary treats everything like that um, meal prep meal prep do that now go do it now after you've watched this video if you want to do this do your meal prep for the next three days now because you're gonna regret not doing it when it comes to you when it comes to tomorrow and you have to cook and then you're like no i can't bother it and then you're gonna go end up making like a sandwich and eating a bag of crisps and that's not gonna help but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video really really helped you please if any of you have done this well not done it but if any of you do this and you could tell a change in your body please 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 let me know because i'd love to see all your results of you before and after and everything um and good luck to you all thanks for watching my video and if you have any other questions of anything i do if you have me on instagram or snapchat please message me on there if you've got me on facebook message me on messenger or if you've got my number message my number but if you have any other questions about anything I do and you want me to make another video similar to this or like show you what I eat in a day or like what workouts I do and stuff just to give you a bit of a gist of it then please comment them ideas down below so I know what you want for the next video if you want one like this again or if you just want a video like I was doing before but thank you guys so much for watching your support means everything to me I hope you all do well if you want to do this challenge and trust me it'll be the best thing you ever do for yourself and your body will love you so thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to oh my god i've got something in my eye hold on right it's gone don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn the no turn the notification bell on for more videos in the future thank you guys so much bye